A group of about 50 people, mostly veterans, gathered in Braintree on Friday, December 7th to honor those who lost their lives at Pearl Harbor. So the reason that we get today uh, is in fact to remember December 7th, December 7th uh, the war that it began, that began, but also it's to remember the post-war post commitment of so many civilians, so many people that came back, started their civilian life, and made our communities a much better place to live. So thank you uh, to the people of uh, the men and women uh, of World War II that made it into such a great community, such a great time. One thing I really want to say, the town of Rancher, and particularly the organizers of the Legion and the men and World War II, is thank you very much for doing this. This is so important, what we're doing here today. And I really hope the young people take notice of the fact that so often as, as Pearl Harbor is, the years go by, and, and we begin to drift between the actual event and the present. It becomes harder and harder for people to have that emotional connection to Pearl Harbor Day. But it is certainly, in my mind, one of the most pivotal moments in our nation's history. I think mean, it showed in the attack, humanity at its worst. But in our response as a nation, it showed America at its best. Early morning, sneak bombing raid by the Japanese. Our President Franklin Delano Roosevelt at this time called December 7th, 1941, a day that will live in infamy. This December 7th, all around the world, we will remember the lives lost at Pearl Harbor. Those who have enjoyed such privilege as we do forget in time that men have died to win them. God be merciful unto us and bless our service men and women throughout the world. This we ask in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. My name is Ernest Wilkins, a Pearl Harbor survivor. Can you tell me where you were on the day and kind of what, what it was like for you? But the day that they, they bombed Pearl Harbor, Around these tunnels, the seven. Around seven thirty a.m. You're in the I navy. Was in the navy. In the navy. I was in the navy. And where were you stationed? I was. I was. I was ship was stationed in Pearl Harbor mm -hmm. at that time, and my ship was cross built. I was transferred from the Arizona a week before they bombed Pearl Harbor. Wow. And I have to look over and see my ship uh, left a week earlier. And it like this year, the water done split right here. We didn't even know they were coming. And they came unexpected. You know the sun, the sun was shining beautiful. And when they started bombing everything, it turned like night, dark. Mm -hmm. The oil was burning on the water. Mm -hmm. It was awful. And then after they didn't come back anymore, we just we had to pick up all the they did that was got here. Because they machine gun a lot of people as they were walking down the pier and stuff. Mm -hmm. Trying to get back to the ship. Mm -hmm. Never made it. They hit that Sunday morning. That Monday they had declared war.